be back. Um, today I want to talk about fear. This is why I started with this little thing at the beginning. Um, fear is a big theme at the moment. So I don't think I ever lived in a world with more fear than right now, right here, and actually also uh, right everywhere. So that's another interesting thing about the times we live in. It's actually everywhere the same. So uh, no surprises there. So there's a lot of fear at the moment because first, uh, of course, people are afraid of Corona uh, to get infected, um, to get uh, really sick and die. Uh, then people are afraid, uh, obviously, um, about what's going on with the economy. That's a really scary thing as well. You know, we have no idea what is ahead of us when it comes to that. And then um, a lot of people are also afraid because they just feel that the governments um, have much more power now and... Um, we lost a lot of our freedoms um, and that that might increase to make sure that the virus doesn't spread. So I think these are the main three fears that people have at the moment. Now, fear, at least in my life, never helped me and it never supported anything, even though I have to say, I thought about this because a lot of what people call fear usually is much rather worry. So worry is a tiger might stand in front of me, so I'm worried. Fear is the tiger is standing in front of me, so it's very different, and uh, I have to get out of here. And uh, I'm really scared of tigers, I have to admit, you know, I, uh, I, much, rather, I much rather take a lion. Lions are fine, tigers... Phew, I know, these, 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 these guys are big. So what we have at the moment is actual. It is the tigers in front of you because Corona is, is here. It has arrived, as we know, has been here for a year. So that is an actual fear. But then, um, and I hope uh, you remember that because uh, I hope you saw the blog post. Um, I talked about Srini Zagadatta Marai like a little while ago. Um, he was um, an Indian mystic and he said that everything that has a beginning and has an end isn't real. So now you could argue that what we're afraid of, obviously, to get sick and die, we're afraid of um, losing our livelihood and we're afraid of the government may, might take over or something, you know. Um, so, and I don't say everybody, but some people are. So three fears, but if we have a beginning and have an end, what this body has, it's not really real. So if it is not real, so why be afraid about it? That ties right into what Swami Vivekananda said um, about that all problems start when we think we're little minds and little bodies, even though supposedly to his way of seeing things, we're much more. So these are the same themes. I mean, do we need to be afraid? Now, The Course in Miracles, what to me is one of the most amazing spiritual books, sums up its more than a thousand pages by saying, nothing real can be threatened, nothing unreal exists, herein lies the peace of God. And don't worry too much about the God part at the end. But the idea behind it is that Nothing unreal exists. So if Sri Nisagadatta, now it gets a little complicated, says everything that has a beginning and has an end isn't real, then the Course in Miracles says, you know, what isn't real doesn't exist. But it also says nothing real can be threatened. That what we really are, supposedly, can't be threatened. That what we not are doesn't exist. I'm just saying this because that might give us some peace because we don't know how long this will last. And if we accept that what we truly are, what is beyond this body, can't be threatened. And that what this body is and has a beginning and end and is unreal doesn't exist. 
we have peace. And by saying this, I'm not saying, you know, don't take care of Corona, don't wear your mask, don't protect yourself, don't worry about um, infecting others. I mean, that's not what I'm saying. I have respect of Corona, but we shouldn't be afraid constantly because fear is not good for you either. That's really bad for your whole system. So I have a very good friend, my friend Paul, and he's sometimes watching this, uh, this vlog. So hi, Paul, if you're watching. Um, and he's one of my great teachers, even though he probably would say now, no, I'm not, but you are. So Paul was very unhappy. And he's my Siing, my older Kung Fu brother. We used to practice Kung Fu together. And he was so unhappy that eventually his wish of dying almost came through because he, he got cancer. Ron Hodgkin's lymphoma. But the moment he realized that he has cancer, he didn't want to die anymore. So he went through chemo, he did the whole thing, and he's, he's totally fine, uh, as far as I know. He's fine now. And um, he told me, he said, Carson, I realized in that moment you can go through life and you can smile, or you can go through life being unhappy. In that moment, I decided to be happy. And that's what he is now. Whenever I see pictures of him on Facebook, he's jumping out of planes or he's at some unknown places. Um, but the same is true for us. Life will go by either way. So we've been afraid for a year now, but we could have smiled that entire year as well. And probably, I mean, the outcome would have been the same. If you are infected, you're infected. If you're not infected, you're not infected. That doesn't change the outcome, but it definitely changed how we feel. So maybe it's time to think about that and, and, and just be really conscious about what is going on, protect yourself, protect others, but fear, it's really unhealthy as well. It's a constant stress to the system. And in my experience also, fear very often attracts what we fear. Maybe it's just about time to, to go through life with a smile again. Because that definitely changes how we feel about ourselves and how we feel about our lives. So food for thought, thank you so much. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. I see you guys tomorrow. Bye for now.